We'll get back to that in a minute. <laughs> so I've just walked in and oh, stuff's I here. <laughs> stuff's here. Um, if you haven't been watching the white Fiesta build, which we uh, we did a little pause on because a lot of painting work was happening. Um, I've just walked in. I didn't even know this was going to happen and. We've got some stuff. Yes, we've got some stuff. Look at this. That looks so good in white. I'm so happy yeah. that that looks that good. Remember in the last video, it was black. We put it on the car and we were having an R and like as if it was not an option kit and it would be just factory like plastics. Should that be the way to go? I'm glad you didn't go that way because that looks like series one front that is literally the vibe isn't it that is the vibe it's it, all it's doing is missing an rs turbo badge here because you know that's that's, that's the sad thing that people do because i do that this looks like so proper like you've just opted it from the factory it's come painted in the car color and you're about to go and pick the car up and put it on but the worst news is the car needs to be painted now oh yeah because the whole kit is now a different color in theory yeah and there's no paint left on it Oh, you no! Go, you go to polish it to match in what they've done, and there's less than 30, 40 microns on the whole thing. It just, oh. turns, just turns to primer. No way. So, that's that's how it is, I suppose. That's that's old cars. But it was still a cool, cheap car. Yeah. Although I'm spending the money on it, it'll be perfect. On it. It'll be like the blue one. They'll be like a pair of bookends. Yeah. That's the idea. They'll be absolutely mint condition. I'm so happy how this looks though. That front is yeah. so era correct. It's unreal. That's come out exactly, well it's come out better than I thought it would because I'm in an iron about, you know, colour yeah. colour matching the car. Mate, what a surprise to walk into. That is so cool. Look at this. We'll just zoom into this bit here. Oh dear. Look at this and where is it? There it is. Oh, it's right there. Yes. So we've just come out of the office and this has just turned up one of those cars that I haven't actually seen a lot of. This is a 23 plate RS4 uh, black edition, black black version. Uh, apparently there's only like, well, 500 of these I'm gonna sell for top of my head. Um, look at that in there. That is just, the haunches on the side of this car are ridiculous. Coming down, wheels are cool. They are still as wide as I want them to be. Audi just know how to make a proper car in my opinion. I love me Audis. Look at the grill here, that's so cool. Wait, that looks insane from the front end. Yeah, that is absolutely lovely with all this in here. I'd have one of them. Obviously they're like probably like a million pound these days. Look at the size of the brakes on it. What the hell? They're massive. What tire size is that? They're freaking massive, aren't they? 275 30, 20 Pirelli, and that's the size of the brake behind a 20 inch wheel. That is absolutely ridiculous. If you want to go fast, oh, look at the carbon here. Oh, that's so cool. Obviously, it's not washed and everything yet. It's literally just been blocked off, but as a fast estate car that does everything, I mean, pfft, bar the RS6, which is obviously a bigger version, faster, blah, 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 more money as well. That's up there. So the RS4 just being started to be cleaned up. Actually got quite an interesting video going up tomorrow which is of the new rs3 one of our mates has just actually bought this thing he said you know while it's down at jason's can you take it out can you go and enjoy it you used to have an ap rs3 so go and enjoy it see see what the new rs3s are like so i will be taking this out for a full video that will be going up tomorrow but how cool is this rs4 and the new rs3 together both 23 plate model year cars again as I've said in the past, I'm a huge Audi fan, so to have two cars that are brand new from the RS range in front of you is a pretty big deal to me, especially the RS3, considering it's still got the five pot in there. Full video going live tomorrow. A few inches later. Drift dropped back the keys for the RS3 again. The video, the full video on that will be out tomorrow. We're gonna jump back in the GTI. I will say this now in this video, right? There's about 60 grand difference here, and I know they're generationally different. It's a completely different car, but mate, maybe I'm just so sold on the GTI that I cloud myself in just loving this era of car, maybe? I don't know. I'm just weird. Like, 
I'll try and be as like Jamie, I suppose, as possible. But for me, 60 grand price difference. This is a car from an era I couldn't afford. This is then my era. And regardless how good new cars are, because that is an insanely good car, I'll still look at these as maybe a pinnacle point in my life where I liked fast cars. I know they're not as fast. I know they're not as good. I get it. But for me, this era, Golf GTIs from this era, the R32, the RS3, stuff like that, is still pinnacle for me. Anyway, enough boring you guys with, oh, look at this Golf GTI, it's so good. Let's get on, shall we? I love a Golf GTI, <laughs> so weird. And this is what I'm talking about. S500 in silver, long wheelbase. That's a spot. See, I'm so weird. I'm telling you, 2000s generational cars for me is where it's at. And here is another one, actually. Saxo, is it a VTR, VTS, past the Duke? I think it's a VTR. This is what I'm talking about. Spots on spots, but it's all mid 2000s stuff that gets me all funny in the pants. Right, we're back down at the garage. This came to the channel a month ago now, probably. It's a fantastic car. Probably one of the best STs I've ever driven. Golf GTI in the background. There's hot hatches everywhere today. This is still here, got a few things going on with that. That's had a diagnostic, so that is ready for the owner to pick up jag here. There's just so much potential and cool hot hatch just in this small section of today's video. Still really want one of these. I mean, these were just the one back in the day. All right, George. It's got a hoodie on today, look at that. It's, it's not exactly, really mate, though, it? it's hot. What are you doing? That wasn't this morning, was it? No, that's true. Oh yeah, I've got them heated seats on in that Golf GTI. Must be a bit hot for that. Isn't it? <laughs> well, it is now, yeah. yeah. Um, this just come through the post. Look at the state of this. That's actually going in the Fiesta ST over there. This is a auto bit. specialist AirTech bolt in. Bolt in Clubman roll cage. Bolt in Clubman roll cage. Look how lovely this is. I'm assuming it goes into seatbelt mounts, I reckon. Yeah, round and in the back. That's cool. We will be well. You guys will be powder coating this. What colour? Yep. Orange, yellow, yellow. To go with the theme of the yellow. Well, he's got a yellow paper on it now. I think he wants uh, his yellow. Okay, let's just see what the yellow looks like. Actually, it did have yellow calipers. It had yellow bits in the headlights, yellow bits inside. Like the mount tune yellow, actually. And, yeah, the yellow brace. So that's the colour it's going to go. Yeah. Very exciting. It's got to make a meth tank mount. Meth tank mount. We will just point out how lovely the paint is on here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like sparkling in the sun today. It's a nice colour. I like that. I like that colour. It's volcanic. Molten orange. Molten orange. There you go. It's going to say volcanic orange then. It's not volcanic orange. But this would be really cool. A lot of Fiesta guys out there would probably be interested in us actually following this on the channel and how it goes in the powder coating and stuff. So, again, we'll probably go with you guys and actually. Uh, See how that comes out and the fitting in the car. I think that'd be nice. Claire's in the background over there, Dan's staring at the engine. <laughs> it's just like, what is happening? Vacuum filling, life decisions, vacuum filling the coolant. That's next. Oh yeah, meatloaf would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, that's rounded. That's a good start. Did you just give me the rounded bolt to do, you cheeky bugger? So under tray is off and this really does expose Dan, the horrific front end on this Clio. Look how bad this is. That's bad, but this, mate, look, I can literally pull that off. How bad is that? That is just like on an, it's fallen off. That's fallen off on the floor. So this is why we're doing this today, because oh my actual God, I can't believe how rotten just that one part is. It's literally just this bar and it's that bar. The rest of it is actually okay. There's no crazy rust anywhere else. This is like the worst part. I've, I've never seen a car this rusty in only one place. It's so odd to me, isn't it? I know you said it was like yeah, normal. I've found a few on MOT. Have you? Yeah. Well, this is apparently relatively normal, but I can't believe how bad that is, but this one is going to replace it. 56 pound posted. That is a deal. I reckon that's the deal of the century there. It must mean that they go wrong a lot, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's why it's, like, it's surplus um, cheapness is because, I mean, it goes wrong. Look how bad this is. But we're going to take her off. It'll be fine. Hi, George. Look how bad this is. That's just ridiculous. You can literally peel it off. That's embarrassingly bad. It's that's it, you tell it. That's bad though, isn't it? <laughs> We've supported the top of the rad and everything. Let her have it. Oh, there we go. A lot of rust just fell on the floor. Oh dear. Mate, look how bad that is. 
wrong, right? That's that right. is so bad, isn't it? That's serviceable, isn't it? Yeah, that's a serviceable item. You've got to replace that every three to four years. I, I actually cannot believe that's the one part that's rusty on the car, but how bad it actually is. Five year warrant? Well, on that one. So you've got to replace it in five years, basically, yeah. is what you're saying. So every five years on a 197, you've got to replace this one rusty part. When to I say fair, rusty, I'm talking rusty. That is, that's another level, that is. Crap. That is pretty crap, yeah, I'll agree with that. It's pretty simple to get off, though. One bolt there, bolt going into that bit there. And then as you can see, Dan pulling that bolt off there and it will just literally drop out, which is nice, considering it's a serviceable item and you've got to change it every five years. It's that bit there, you'll just move in there. Uh, this bit. is just the other support for the other side. So the other support, we did actually take this side off for the cam belt and everything. That's why this has all been deconstructed. So this side, I'm gonna have to take these out. It will 100% snap in there. I'm, I'm surprised, not surprised it hasn't already, but I reckon all that there is gonna be yeah, that's going to be a bad time to get that out. I'm assuming it's just going to snap inside itself. We're about to find out. Let her have it, Dan. Oh, that one's come out. Yes, mate. These, well done. These two. Though, these two, are, yeah, they're, they're not that crap. It isn't actually got a lot left on it anyway, so I think that that's going to be a bad time in these two here. They're going to be the problem. That's all right. That's come out, which is a surprise. And that's that. So that's on the floor. Um, it's um, what is this? Isn't it? <laughs> Mic drop. Oh yeah, a little, a little, a little, a little yeah, on there. Yeah. Rust sprinkle. Salt on there, yeah, the rust. Wow, that's so bad. So yeah, that obviously goes onto there and it's to be fair, from uh, from there, here is rust rotten and rusty, but that's actually right there. Yeah, just this front cross. That's so weird, isn't it? What a weird thing to go wrong. Rubbers from the car and from there are in. I'm gonna Offer this up and it should just literally slip in, which is fantastic news. Just to help this end. Oh yeah, that goes in there. Going in. Yes, lad. Oh, loves it. That was easy. And just like that, bolts in, that's in, that wheel cover's going back on. This side can go back on after doing all of the uh, tensioner, water pump, cam belt, everything that side. We were doing that anyway, so it seems silly not to do this part, especially when it came in like a day or like 24 hours, which is really, really impressive. But something that simple and that quick and easy, especially if it's on a ramp and it's sort of all deconstructed, is what it's all about. This was, uh, it was a good idea to do it today.